Hey, so I do another video. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Um, I feel even crudier. The day goes on. Um, so I watched some of the Thunderfoot uh, <clears throat> drunken peasant thing. So I guess I got through the first half hour. And there's just four guys just ragging. You know, about how uh, it's outrageous this idea that, you know, women are vulnerable and uh, in a very insecure position and that men should be somewhat sensitive to that. So, you know, all these things started because a woman gave men advice and said, yeah, maybe it's not a great idea to hit on a woman in an elevator at four in the morning. You know, when you're the only two people in the elevator. Maybe that's not too cool. And so, everybody goes insane. She's not allowed to say that's not cool. And uh, then we get into all this whole rape argument and everything else. And Thunderfoot comes up with the brilliantism. If a woman's really raped, she goes to the police. So that's his, his understanding of <laughs> rape and the um, compromising circumstances that women can get themselves into. He's also made the argument, basically the miniskirt argument, of you asked for it, bitch. Uh, this is the same guy who was dressed in a woman's bikini in a basically a hot tub in Hawaii with two chicks who presumably he would sanction or punish if they were his daughters for doing such things. So this is his hypocrisy, <laughs> you know, grotesque hypocrisy. Obviously, it would be their fault if they got raped because they were drinking, uh, and that means you ask for it. You're in a bikini and you're drinking, therefore you ask for it. Uh, that's his philosophy. Um, and TJ and Little Worm Man and Little Weasel Man all jumped on that bandwagon waving their arms. Me too, me too. Um, you know, just no... I just don't... You know, TJ has sisters. I mean, maybe they're gorillas. <laughs> you know, that even the most... Even rapists who rape 100-year-old women wouldn't bother with. Uh, but I have sisters. And uh, I just don't know how you do that. How you have sisters and not have some sensitivity to how they are often compromised by malicious males with a malicious taking agenda. Uh, and how difficult it is for women to... Um, you know, play the game, um, you know, lower their inhibitions, be fun, uh, where they're supposed to always figure out where they're supposed to draw this line, where, oh, they went too far, now the man can't control himself, uh, and this is all women's responsibility somehow, women have to, have to do all the work, um, you know, they have to fake drink, so, you know, so, I mean, the only just dessert would be is as technology gets better and better, I'm hoping for the point where, you know, everything we do, you know, if we want to take an MP3 recording of our day, you know, every sound that happens around us, you know, we can just hit a button and <laughs> the recorder's on and, uh, yeah, let these assholes be accountable and see how they like it. And see how they like, see how inhibiting it is to their life if they have to start thinking about it all the time. Because that's what they're forcing women to do. Because they won't take any responsibility. So go ahead and see how much fun it is uh, you know, to gauge in uh, intimate relations with women knowing the tape recorder's always on. Yeah. Uh, because you're demanding the same thing from them. You're demanding that they measure everything they do, every wink, every laugh, every gesture, that does, somehow they're supposed to know, oh, this guy doesn't know, that doesn't mean you may now grope me, or <laughs> you may drug me. I mean, this insensitivity is just so obnoxiously unnecessary. Uh, it's such a lie to thousands of years of tradition. It's such a, a, a gross ignorance to what's happening in a ton of the world out there is embracing, you know, male oppression of females. 
and you assholes can't just grow up a little fucking bit? Man. So, too pitiful is all I can say. Um, too desperate, too weaselly. But these are always their tactics, and Thunderfoot is just known for this. You know, remember the Venom Fang X arguments where he's showing him in his Batman, uh, you know, costume, uh, where Venom Fang X was trying to be a human being and trying to be funny, and Thunderfoot used that against him. So let's just know who, you know, the, this is the game they're playing. And so they want to try to paint feminism as some sort of obnoxious hate idea when all it is is a an idea based on a huge amount of tragedy that women have endured because of a little um, bit of insensitivity. I mean, just it doesn't take much to cure the problem. A little bit of sensitivity, uh, you know, goes a long way. And apparently men, uh, you know, that dime is asking too much. Uh, fuck them. Very disappointing. There's something else to be horribly, dismally, horribly, horribly, dismally. Hey, look at that free baseball if I want it. I guess I do. It's free. Uh, yeah. Newly entered into the water stream. All right. <laughs> yeah. What do I do with it? Throw it at a man. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, oh, my bad. Did that hit you in the head? Oh, gee, sorry. I uh, slipped and such. It's not that I have, you know, I'm a brilliant pitcher or something. I couldn't possibly be trying to hit you in the head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kill the males with their own sport. Anyway, you know, enough done. I've said. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just don't want to be alive today. I want to skip this one. Yeah, skip. Skip. Let's top over it. Hey, one of my plants is still there. You didn't need it yet. Hey, that one's still there, too. Amazing. Okay, till next time.